New Jersey schools try to stem kids identifying as they and them. The number of New Jersey public school students who identify as non-binary is up 4,000% since 2019. Hell, I can remember the good old days when most New Jersey public school students identified as felons. <laughs> anyway, during the 2019-20 school year, just 16 kids in the Garden State identified as non-binary, compared to 675 students in 2023. 675. That's almost as high as Jesse's SAT score. <laughs> and he got 8 o'clock. Can you believe that? He got 8 o'clock? What's he got? <laughs> so how does this happen, and what does it mean, and why would all these kids want to do this? Well, first it tells you that it's not real. If suddenly everyone announced they're ceiling fans, and there's no change in the environment that led to that announcement, you can bet it's purely a social contagion. And why is it contagious? Well, it's an elective action that brings young people initial positive attention. You become noticed and feel super special and important. And that's all young people want. And even better, there's no risk, just reward. You don't have to play sports or learn to skateboard or play in a band. Just change your pronoun and you're in. Hell, you might even get a parade, right? And the only people who aren't welcome are your parents. What do they know? They're just some stupid breeders. Well, I really ended on a downer, huh? <laughs> I've never heard them make that noise before. Yeah. Yeah, it sounded like somebody was excising like a little mole. Or, yeah. Or, like, when I'm eating dinner, my dog wants, like, a piece of chicken. I won't give it to him. Yeah. Mole. Yeah. Mole. That was weird. That was like a... That was a... I think I... I that's our first group groan. Yeah. Cat, <laughs> um... This is interesting. I think we do know that this is just to get attention because there's no explanation. This is a social contagion. No, I mean, it's, I think it's just a, it's a total coincidence. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but people are going to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are going to say that because unfortunately we've reached a point where, okay, if like it's going to be a conservative or Fox News that's going to be saying what you're saying, that maybe it's not a coincidence. Therefore, the other side's got to lean hard into it totally is. Mm -hmm. You're not allowed to have your own opinion. You just have to prove how different you are from the other side because you say that give them any ground, then you're one of them, and then you're completely excommunicated. Mm. Obviously, I, I didn't even know what this, it, this was when I was in elementary school, and I think most people didn't. And I think a lot of this is a distraction, too, from the fact that there has been so much learning loss during COVID, and there's been no accountability for that. Mm, good point. <laughs> You have three kids, right, Jamie? Mm -hmm. I think their pronouns are leave us alone. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Came up with that. Their pronouns are <laughs> who's and he. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm scared. I get scared about this topic. I'm going to be honest, I'm not the smart. I didn't even know percentages went up to 4,000. <laughs> um, I, I thought 100 was all of it. No, you know what's interesting? <laughs> No, it's very, it's a, such a great point. This is such a great point. Because, like, when something goes up 100%, that could just be, like, uh, one out a of 100 thing. goes to two out of 100. Yes. Like I said, one person out of 100 had a heart attack, and then on the drug, yeah. two had a heart attack. That's a yes. 100% increase. I'm like, it's 3,000% bigger. She's like, it's still only three inches. <laughs> I was I really, like, there's no way he'll make this about his penis. <laughs> I was I'm wrong. So, I'm sorry. I, I just got in trouble. I think last time, we I didn't know what binary meant. I looked it up, and it's like gender fluid. Yeah. Which I thought gender fluid was like why we needed a towel after sex. I said something like that. <laughs> and um, I don't think he could do it again. I've learned my lesson. You haven't learned I, any lessons. I will never make it. When did Jamie all of a sudden go blue? <laughs> like, he was always the nice comic, and now everything's about genitals. Shoot. You're bringing, you know, you're turning, the, you're bringing this show into the gutter. And That's now my job. I'm looking at my jokes. I'm looking at my jokes, and they all just say penis one through five. <laughs> trying to figure out. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know any of these words mean like non non binary. I don't bisexual. I thought meant you paid for sex. Um, You're only encouraging this. Can you imagine being bisexual though? How exhausting that would be to look at everyone's ass. Yeah. All right. So what? Uh, there you go.
<laughs> so you know, Emily, I find it. In I I like the pronouns because they tell me who I would never hire. Like if that was on a resume, I would be like, you're gone. Also, I do believe that anybody that adopted this, uh, it te it tells you that you're a non-playing character in the world because if you were so easily led that you would accept this. That means you aren't actually participating in your own destiny. What do you think of that, lady face? <laughs> yes, it is an indicator, just not the kind that they think they are indicating, yes. right? It's sending the message that they're just annoying yeah. as hell. Yeah. Here's the thing about this, too. To me, there, there's two points about this. Number one, yes, they're kids, they're teenagers, and therefore everything is infectious. Mm, tell right? me about it. Everything is spread. <laughs> now I'm... <laughs> <laughs> um, they do what everyone else is doing. Exactly. Right? That's the whole point. It's yeah. like the laughter epidemic of 1962 in now Tanzania. That lasted months. The whole point is if you put kids together, they are going to do all the same thing. And the second point is that uh, this is absolutely being encouraged, not only by the ridiculous climate we're now living in, but literally retail. You know, we've yeah. talked about this with Target. There are entire lines. It's a multi-million dollar industry with shirts that say, ask me about my pronouns, that with cards that say, I'm so happy, I'm so proud that you came out. It, they are being rewarded for being part of that club because otherwise, then they don't get that merch. Otherwise, they, they can't wear that t-shirt. Otherwise, they're left alone simply by being normal. Yeah. That's not enough anymore. So Read a book. Sorry. That's what I say. Read a book. And if you're blind, get it in Braille. <laughs> <laughs> right, Tom? Yes. Don't use that blind excuse on me. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think that's great. Uh, but the, uh, I think that we had counterculture. You know, there's a certain uh, percentage of students that are going to want to go against the grain. And I think in the early 70s, you had the kind of the hippies, right? Yeah. The counterculture. And then when we were in high school, Greg, you had the punks. Yeah. You know, you would spike your hair up. Maybe somebody would get an earring, maybe a tattoo, dye their hair, things like that. That was very radical back then. That doesn't even get you attention anymore. No. And now they actually get, they reward you for it. Well, they'll say on the morning announcements, now, uh, you know, a transgender can use the, uh, the locker room of your choice. And the boys are like, oh, yeah, I'm definitely, uh, <laughs> I'm trans, yeah. I'm trans. I'm going to use the girls' locker room. Uh, but, yeah, I think it's just give give the, give them the choice. It's part of this big national conversation and national fight. And you can be seen as tolerant if you're part of this group. So, yes. So it is that people take advantage of it. I've seen trans people use the bathroom in first class when they're in coach. <laughs> <laughs> the horrors. See? It works. And that's what really gets you, Greg. When they walk by you in first class... <laughs> And you say, you have a coach seat. What are you doing? <laughs> I just made that story up. Because <laughs> I was thinking it's such a great story. Tra people become trans to use first class bathroom. <laughs> Let's make that up so they have it on Fox and Friends tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> they stole our, our, our uh, mirror. All right, up next, from ugly dogs to a talented cow, local news is coming up now.